Hello guys, we are back with our new tutorial. So today's tutorial is from Code Forces website and the contest is Greca Forces 2020 and we are discussing problem A of this contest. The name of the problem is circle coloring. So let's move on to problem statement. You are given three sequences, basically three array. A, array A, array B, and array C. So, uh, we, uh, for each I, so the ith position of each array, all of the array, it is not equal to any other array. Okay, suppose the ith position of I, A I is not equal to B I, as well as A I is not equal to C I. Okay, so any, any ith uh, position of any of the array is not equal to any other array okay so ai is not equal to bi and ai is not equal to ci and bi also not equal to ci so what we have to find in this context uh, in this problem is find a sequence pn okay so we have to find an array of length n that satisfy the following condition okay what is the conditions uh, that pi should be any one of ai bi or ci okay so P i should be any of one of the, these three P i B i or C i okay and P i should not equals to P uh, uh, P i mode n plus one okay so what does it mean other uh, other word is that it should uh, P i should not equals to P i plus one okay uh, yeah this is the problem statement this is this is what I have explained here only this is the second uh, simple way of this i have explained you and it can be proved that in the given constant solution always exists okay you do not need to minimize anything you need to find the proper sequence okay and another yeah if there are several uh, solutions we can print any okay and the constant is very small okay so let's discuss the problem what we can do here is we are given three arrays a b and c and we need to print uh, an array p of length n and array p of length n and array p i in array p the ith element should be equals to a i or b i or c i okay it should not be any other this is one condition and the uh, p i should not be equals to pi plus minus 1 okay it should not equals to pi minus 1 suppose in this case uh, it should not equals to pi minus 1 suppose it is 2 so it's 2 should not uh, be 2 p2 should not equals to p1 okay suppose this and one more condition uh, one more thing to note in this condition is that pn should not be equals to p1 okay so this is a simple uh, explanation of this problem let's move on to code part now so what we are doing here in is we are inputting n taking three uh, vectors a b and c as asked in the question inputting them and we are taking one integer prev prev is the previous element that uh, we have outputted as, uh, so initially we have uh, we haven't output anything so i have kept it minus 1 because I have kept it minus 1 because there is no mm, negative integer here it is starting from 1 everywhere ok so we, I have taken minus 1 here and I will run the loop till n minus 1 ok I will first print the n minus 1 n minus 1 elements of the sequence p ok so what I am checking here is I am checking that if the ith element of the array i is not equals to previous okay if it is not equals to its previous one then i need to uh, output the array and update the previous okay yes then as condition if array i is equals to equal equals to previous okay a i is equals to previous so what we need to do is we need to simply output b because b is not equals to a a i okay as discussed here they are they are unequal so we will print b and we will update the previous okay so 
with this for loop we will print the n minus 1 elements of the p array of the answer so uh, now we need to print the nth element of the array so to print the nth element of the array what we need to check is we need to check two things in that first it should not equals to its previous one okay it should not equals to its previous one and it should also not equals to the next one okay the uh, another means the first one okay it should not equals to its previous one as well as it should not equals to its the first element that we have outputted in the array okay so uh, yeah this is the explanation this is what two condition we are given so first element is always equals to that we have printed in the array is always equals to a0 because uh, a0 is because uh, initially it is minus 1 so minus 1 will not be there so we will print a0 at the first so the first element of the sequence will be a0 and yeah and yeah so a0 will be the first sequence so what we will check if a n minus 1 so if the first array that is a first array's last element is not equal to pre previous and the first array's last element is not equal to the first element that we have printed then we need to print and then it satisfies both the condition then we will print an a nth element of array a same in array b and uh, so we'll print array b last element else if these both condition are not true and if one uh, condition of this both is failing so we will print this which is last element of c this will always be correct because all the elements are different so this was the logic guys for this problem and the code as well i will provide the link of this code in the description hope you like my tutorial please uh, hit the like button if you like it and don't forget to subscribe guys please why are you not subscribing subscribe it i will be posting the solution for b and c as well so thanks for watching guys meet you guys next time bye bye